Yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Scott Brand, and I will be present. No. Okay. Uh, my name is Scott Brand, and this is Samir Alasser. We will be presenting the project that we did for the double effect evaporator. We also did this experiment with Kenny Smith and Jessica Brand. First, I will begin by talking about what evaporation is and why this process, we were looking at this process. Then Samir will continue by talking about the, the apparatus and the safety requirements that we needed to, to take into account when we were using the evaporator. He will also continue by talking about the experimental procedure that we, that we used to uh, go throughout the experiment. I will continue with the theory that that we assumed would happen with the in the results. Then I will discuss the results and how that uh, correlates to the theory that we were expecting. And then finally, Samir will finish off by concluding. So first off, evaporation is a process in which a solution is heated in order to get rid of a solvent, or to remove a solvent. And in this case, the uh, feed flow and the evaporator pressure effect have an effect on the economy and the capacity. The economy is kilograms of water vaporized versus kilograms of steam fed, and the capacity is the kilograms of water vaporized per hour. The properties of solution depend on the design or affect the design of the evaporator itself. So if you're working with food process, you might need stainless steel. If you're working with some other process, it might need some other material. But the operating pressure <coughs> and temperature depend on the physical properties of the solution fed to the evaporator. So one thing that we can do with this process is, or that we, they use this process in the real world is by processing food. So concentrate, making concentrated orange juice, making concentrated milk, or in our case, maple syrup. The li in our case, the uh, liquid was the desired product and the vapor is usually the undesired product. And the cost can be calculated to see if the plant is going to be profitable, which is the process that we were looking at to see if our, our factory would be profitable. Now Samir will continue with the apparatus. And yeah, same way. So, uh, we have uh, two like uh, experiment experiments before, like last semester, and uh, we do the semester double effect. The previous semester we deal with the first effect. Uh, the first effect is. Uh, like a uh, more simple the evaporator, uh, the, the effect, and the vapor go out, and the liquid, we collect the liquid from the down. The second, uh, the second experiment we do it with, with the two effect, the vapor is gone, up, uh, up, and the liquid from the first effect goes to the second uh, effect and the vapor that vapor condition and desire and we could look very good from the second uh, that desire liquid we want from the spring. Uh, this is a picture of the experiment for the same effect, the steam. Uh, we have uh, feed waters and uh, with the steam we have to close this is steam. steam goes to the second effect and open that steam goes, uh, goes to the first effect and the vapor, we have the vapor goes to the next effect and we the feed waters also open it and close this one to prevent to transfer to the second effect. This is for the first effect. The second effect, uh, now we have to open this, but two goes to the second effect, steam goes to the second effect, and uh, liquid, we make this 
say here we have to open this well, to go to the the liquids goes to the skin. And uh, undesirable work collected from this uh, valve, valve star. Uh, the same thing, we collect the steam vapor ingested from valve star. Undesirable work also collected here for the second effect. And the uh, pressure regulator and uh, beta pressures. And desired liquids we collect from here and from this flask. Uh, the data we we take it from this experiment each 15 minutes. We collect the steam condensate from the first effect, vapor condensate from the first effect, liquid fluorate from the second effect. This is the desired vapor condensate from the second effect, and desired, and we are to monitor the pressure, pressure and temperature in each effect. Uh, safety considerations. Uh, there is no problem with the chemical reagents. We have to accept the, uh, the hot uh, steams. In each effect, we have like a rupture disc to prevent the pressure to build up. And the bearers, uh, there is a level control in each effect. The purpose of the level control to control the level on the each cut effect. Uh, we have to wear like safety goggles and gloves and take care about the steam because we really need to this hot steam in the process. Procedures we do like uh, first first week we have we have to run four inch uh, mercury of vacuums and eight of the mercury of vacuums. Each run, uh, 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 the whole process is consuming like 45 minutes. Start experiment with a constant flow rate at six uh, gallon per hour and the pressure is seven psi. After, after that, as I saw you in the previous slide, uh, record the data each 15 minutes. Uh, the second week, we do the same experiment, except that, uh, except uh, we have to change that flow rate with, uh, with eight gallon per hour and four gallon per hour, keeping constant the vacuum pressure vacuum at eight and steam pressure at seven. So as we did this experiment, what we were expecting to happen was that for the single effect, even last semester we saw that the economy would be less than one due to the fact that not as much steam was coming out of the vapor as steam coming in to the process itself. And we would expect that, the, we also found that the capacity was low, lower due to <coughs> little evaporation of the vapor product, so if we had more steam, we would be able to evaporate more, but that all depended on how, how much was steam was fed into the system. And we also, even though the uh, cost was lower for the single effect, which was about $100,000 for one effect, it might not necessarily be more economical because the concentrated product might be less concentrated than we actually want. So in other words, we need the second effect in order to get a little more evaporation from that process. But as we, as you'll, as we expect, would expect from the double effect, the economy would be greater than a single effect because there is more evaporation occurring because the steam is recycled from the, from the first effect the vapors recycled from the first one. And in addition, the capacity is higher due to more boiling occurring. What I mean by that is, in the first effect, it will boil some vapor out, whereas, and then it goes to the second effect, and more vapor can be boiled from the vapor from the first effect. 
but even though the cost is higher to make the plant, which was $200,000 in our case, it would get the same product, but with less initial steam that we would need, so the price would be a little less. So the following equations were used to figure out our costs. The main one that we looked at was the net profit, and P1 was the condensate pr product, which we collected at two different spots in the evapor in the double effect evaporator and added them together. P2 was the concentrated product and the concentrated product that we wanted, which so it was the li liquid coming out of the process. And then we had dollar the dollar amounts for each of them, which was the feed was 80 cents per kilogram. The the kind of the undesired product was 0.5 dollars per kilogram. The concentrate product was three dollars a kilogram and then the uh, steam that we used to originally heat the first effect was 0 0.031 dollars per kilogram. And we analyzed the simple payout by dividing the cost of the facility by the net profit that we calculated. So here are the results that we got. Um, as you can as you can see the uh, well I wait wait until we get to the table but you can see that the double effect capacity increased as we increased the the uh, as the flow rate increased the capacity increased and as the flow rate increased the economy also increased in the double effect for some reason the single effect did not increase as much I forget why that was last semester, but we had some discrepancy there. Um, and then as you increase pressure, you also got more of greater capacity in the double effect than even the single effect. As you can see, the, the uh, amounts increase pretty drastically. And then you cal we calculate the simple payout, and as you can see, the double effect was a little more profitable. But the problem with that was, in trial two, we had very little liquid coming out, and as you'll see in the next slide, we didn't cap. We switched the values of P1 and P2. They're the values of the, that the products costs. So, but except for trial two, because we were not getting as much liquid as we got, we got mostly vapor coming out, which was undesired products. So, what we did was we flipped that for every other trial except for that one. And in the following slide, you can see how it increased with the single effect. The single effect, you can see, you can barely see it increases. You can see a little more here. But with the double effect, it increased much more substantially than uh, we originally had. Um, and then with the simple payout, you can see that the double effect eventually became more profitable, whereas the single effect was maybe not was not so much. The and this was a this was a flow rate versus a capacity economy and simple payout at a constant pressure. The next slide, I'm not exactly sure what happened with this. I wasn't expecting this, but at, this was the constant flow rate with changing pressure. In the single effect, it, the trend followed as we expected. However, with the double effect, it increased very drastically, and I was still trying to figure out why that happened with an increase in pressure. But the trend follows an increase in economy, capacity, and simple payout with, with the changing pressure whereas the single effect goes down, down with an increase in pressure. So the single effect kind of is more of what we expect because as you decrease the pressure, uh, you'll get more boil, the boiling point will lower, so you'll get more product in the end. So I'm not exactly sure why our double effect ended up increasing with increasing pressure. But Conclude. At the conclusion, we discovered that uh, 
double effect is more uh, economical. Even that uh, double effect costs more uh, to build up, build the process. But uh, we found that double effect is more economical. Uh, some are trying to accept what we are seeing, but uh, there is a difference from the previous uh, experiment. Uh, and we, if you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs>